matter of fact, the faculty had the first coming. The law program started in April 1983. And when it was about graduating its first set in 1987, the NUC scrapped the department. For you to graduate lawyers, you must run a faculty of law, not a department of law. So then the students that were on ground then were, were affiliated initially to Obafia Law University, then uh, now Obafia University, then uh, University of Fife. When the arrangement was uh, conceived, it was actually originally meant for lecturers from OAU to come to University of Learning to teach the students so that they would still graduate under the species of uh, a University. But that arrangement after some six months, nine months, less than a year I'm sure, became unworkable. It became very expensive for the University of Learning to run. Then the students who were on ground were eventually moved to Bafia Law University where some of us were where the rest of us that were on ground then were asked to join the relevant class to which we belong. For example, if you are in 200 level, you join your mates at OAU in 200 level. If you are in three, and so on like that. And so we mix with them and then we graduated with a student of certificate, read Obafi Naolo University, although we are passionate that we started the University of London. The then head of department, his name, his name is a Professor W. R. James. He is a he is an American. Uh, he is a black American, very fantastic uh, individual. Dr. Demar came rose to become, I think, uh, managing director at uh, UEC. He's still there, so Yoruku. First Yoruku eventually became dean of law at last week. Uh, our own Dr. Suluma Falabi, who is now here, was one of the few lecturers on ground as at that time. Yeah. Yeah. The person, the, the person that I know was in the faculty then, I see is here in the faculty now, was in the department as at that time as a student, but now uh, a lecturer in the faculty is uh, Dr. Uh, Olatuki S.A.N. He was a student then. His nickname then was Justice. They call him Justice then because he likes reading a lot, so they call him Justice. Uh, Justice. Then uh, a couple of them too, there's one Mr. Muyoshore, there's one Muyoshore Abrashid. He has a firm in Abuja and Lagos now. His daughter is here. He was also one of the students with us there. Then the state DPP now, Mr. Abdumumini had they been paid. The choir state DPP was one of the students in the department of law at that time. A couple of them like that. At the time they were living, the other lecturer at that time was Dr. Ogunyomi, uh, myself, and uh, I think uh, Professor Yerukun then, Mr. YBC, who I think is in uh, the Ondo State University now, and uh, a couple of other people that I don't quite uh, remember. We also had associate lecturers like Ayo who was the former Attorney General of uh, the Federation and a few others who came to join us. But by the time I came back from my PhD in um, 1990, all the students have been transferred. We had reverted back to the Department of Law to provide law teaching to those doing management courses and all the other courses that required um, the teaching of law. Faculty came back to be what it was, what it is in 1994. So they admitted the first set of students. So we are also first set of students. Well, we are fully back and we are lucky. When the faculty came back fully, I became an associate lecturer and took part in all the processes that led to the accreditation of the faculty at the beginning. 
Council of Legal Education, the National University Commission, instead they were coming in uh, uh, to come and do an assessment and an inspection to find out whether they could uh, give the faculty accreditation. Then the university advertised for the professor, or for professors anyway, and the vice chancellor at that time, Professor Abdurrahim, called me because I was an associate pro, and then he told me to um, help the university to search around for a full fledged professor who would then come and take in to resume. So I went around, I made a few contacts with um, some professors, uh, whether they would be coming to, whether they would be willing to come to the learning, but um, some of them said they were willing, but they never applied. So after a brief period, I think the, I don't know how it got to here, the vice chancellor then told me to bring my current CV. So after looking through the CV, that when he told me to go and be a professor, why didn't I tell him that I was already qualified to be one myself? And I told him that, well, I don't know. I, I have not made up my mind that I really wanted to go. come back fully into academics because, uh, to be honest, life was uh, sweeter. The company secretary, legal advisor of Trade Bank. Anyway, uh, they advertised, and um, I was encouraged to apply. And uh, after the various interviews and uh, normal processes, I was appointed a professor in the Faculty of Law, the first professor in the Faculty of Law in the University of Illinois. In uh, July 1999, there was an election for the appointment of the dean. Uh, there were only two professors in the faculty at that time, which was myself and Professor Zubair. Uh, Professor Zubair didn't contest. I contested, and I was the sole candidate. And I was, um, as they say in the First Republic, I was um, written on a post. And therefore, I resumed as the first professor and first dean of the faculty of the University of Illinois in 1999, uh, August. And, uh, that's how I became the first professor, the first dean of the faculty of the University of Illinois. And uh, on another level, I became the first uh, professor of law from Kamara State. We, we, we were blessed with um, one fantastic lecturers, and we were well groomed. Dr. Guyomi was still there. Uh, we had uh, Mr. Waiki Sadu, no longer with us there. The only member that I met in my department, that is the Department of Jurisprudence and International Law that I will never forget in my life, Professor A. A. Oba, who is currently the Dean of Law now. I remember he was a lone staff in the department and he was yet the head of the department then. Uh, Professor M. T. Prazak, Professor Ramola, Professor Wahabegbe uh, Wole, SAN now, Professor M. Makambi, SAN. He was Badeya, Mr. Nojin Jaya, now the presiding doctor or professor now. I, I wish to call him similarly, similarly, because he will say similarly, he will say similarly. And of course, Professor Yadola, who is now the dean at Benidorm University. You can not forget him. Uh, there's no way he will be taught, I mean, and he will forget it. It's, it's not possible. He's a teacher. Excellent. When she came in as a lecturer, grade two, she she was teaching um, 
landlord tenant. And eventually, I got to know that students were calling her landlady. <laughs> of course, the landlady, the iron lady, herself. She took us land and tenant. That's why we, we now <laughs> we call her so called her landlady. The faculty of law, as one family, all of us, we are like brothers and sisters. And then the elderly ones among us, they treat us like fathers and mothers. So it's like one big family. I remember my set was the top set. Uh, and there was law between the students and the, the lecturers. It's, it's like a family. You know, we all know ourselves. And, you know, we behave as such. We, you know, we are in acquaintance with each other. And we relate like friends. You know, my wife was two years my junior in the faculty. You know, we we started it in a lorry and today we are still together. We were the first set of executive member to produce the, the LSS uh, jurist in a book form. Initially, it used to be a magazine format. If you look at the 1997-98 one, which we honored our late Honorable Justice M. M. Mustafa Akabi, all the 30 justices of, of the Court of Appeal were here. And then we had it uh, the other side there. And then the two governorship aspirants, then, for 1999, we were contesting, 1999, we had Dr. Ali Madurazak, and then we had uh, a late Alaji, Alabi, Mohamed Alabi Lawa. Both I, of them were here. I became LSS president in my 400 level. You know, I remember that my campaign slogan then was Ideology y 2 We have a very big uh, notice board. It was almost the size of a of the world, we call it law mirror. So we took it upon ourselves with proper, you know, whatever networking at a Nitel office, and we had our own Nitel four boot in the faculty. We went on excursion to Abuja. I remember we were observed at the floor of the Senate. You know, when they said we were so happy that we had in our midst the law students, you know, from faculty of law university of Illinois. You are welcome. So we all we all clapped. We, we, you know, we, we sat at the grand gallery. We were so happy.
two programs. Two bachelor of law degrees program. There is one in the common law and there is another in common and Islamic law. Of course we have master's, master's degree in both Islamic law, common law, and we have PhD degree. We have an advantage when it comes to staff in terms of diversity, in terms of quality. I can say that the quality of lecturers is quite high, very high standards, and this has also impacted on the students. Faculty of Law, University of Illinois, is one of the best staffed faculties of law in Nigerian universities. We have uh, three senior advocates of Nigeria. Three of our staffs are senior advocates of Nigeria. And in all aspects of law, we have internationally and nationally recognized experts. Administration is already working on getting us a purpose built law library. With the successes that we enjoyed in the Mut and Mok internationally and locally, I can tell you that the the impact it has had on our graduates is enormous. We have talked about the very positives that we have the faculty has benefited from engaging in this exercise but presently really we have several challenges the challenges have been there i agree because we have students have had to put so much effort in terms of money and resources in trying to make moot competitions i can tell you that the students that are planning to go presently to the icc they are funding it themselves so i want to encourage the faculty i want to encourage other alumni to kindly come home and support this initiative. It's worth it, it's blowing up. I can tell you that you go somewhere, you mention you're from University of Illinois. Perhaps somebody has seen a team from this university in a mood, then it gives you an edge. Congratulations to all of us, uh, students and staff, present and uh, former students, staff and former staff. I hereby congratulate the Faculty of Law, University of Illinois, on the occasion of its Silver Jubilee celebrations. I wish both the faculty, the students, staff, every success in the years to come. I congratulate the faculty. I thank the faculty management for the great work. Heartily, I congratulate the faculty of law university of Illinois. Congratulations 25 times. I wish everybody well and I congratulate the faculty, wishing the faculty more joy to the world. Congratulations, faculty of law, and congratulations, you are always better than far. Congratulations, happy Silver Jubilee to the Better by Far faculty. This is where it all began, and to come back and give back to it is a great thing. Thank you and congratulations. I congratulate the faculty. Uh, the students, the alumni, that um, this is a very good one, a wonderful occasion, and I pray that the Almighty will continue to be our guide and guard uh, in our dreams. Congratulations once again. 
Hello everybody, my name is Faith Aboyeji from the class of 2016 and I am happy to be a product of the Faculty of Law. I am pretty excited that it's our 25th and I felt very happy and I still feel very happy to have graduated from the Faculty of Law, such a prestigious faculty with a first class. I congratulate the LSS for putting this together and um, making, giving all of us this opportunity to come back to the faculty to give a little more to the faculty and just giving a lot more opportunities to everyone. My name is Abdullah Ablaki Mago, I'm the LSS president. I'm fundamentally to bring back the alumni who have been graduating from the faculty for about 20 years ago, two decades for that matter. And uh, the most important thing out of it all is just to create a one big family for LSS. That is our plus sign objective. That is our greatest dream. We believe that we have gone far wide in the nation and we have seen how things are done in other universities. And how other universities are banking on their alumni to do great things. And that is why we conceived this idea. So uh, I can just say that the pristine objective of, admin, of this administration is to bring back all the alumni. And after that, to create one big family for all the alumni and students. The family that will bridge the gap between the past, the present, and the future. And what is that family? That is Investor of Law Alumni Association.